They start their security shifts with a smile. But their task to prevent kidnappings in northeastern Nigeria is deadly serious. Members of this civilian joint task force are vigilantes. In a part of the country where regular police patrols have previously failed to protect the population. There was a time I was also kidnapped and as a victim, you know, I was taken to their camp and I spent a week in the camp. It was not a funny experience. Uh, I was really beaten, you know, threatened to be killed. Kidnappings here gained global attention 10 years ago, when around 300 schoolgirls from the town of Chibok were seized by Boko Haram. Some remain missing, which is deeply felt by their families. She's the only best daughter. Among those I have, that the God gave me. So, I will never, I will never forget her. I will never forget her. In fact, I will never forget her. Their absence feeds pain, but also anger against the armed group and criminal gangs alike. But experts worry that villagers carrying weapons could create their own challenges too. If you don't control uh, these guys that are carrying arms to protect their community, I think uh, criminal elements will capitalize on that opportunity and explore that opportunity uh, in their criminal enterprise. So uh, I think uh, the government should give these guys effective training singing on patrol, a sign of confidence, as this community seeks to respond to the region's violence. Villa Marx, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.